now live. Hello. I'm just. <laughs> Here I come. We're doing it. We're Are you guys it. there? We should get closer. Should get closer. No, because we have to be. We're six feet away. We have to be six feet. <laughs> Let's see. Sweet. Check this out. We have a long way to go. Keep going. There it is. Oh, we're two over. Oh. All right. Oh. I think shoulder to shoulder. Pretty good. Shoulder to shoulder. Six feet right there. We're up. Six. Yeah, it's all right. We're good. Yeah. We'll start. At... We'll start soon, guys. To LaCroix. <laughs> Taylor says, when she makes it horizontal. <laughs> okay, here's what we said, Taylor. Uh, we needed to be six feet away. Yes. That's that's what we said. Here we go. The way some people measure. This is six feet. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Okay. All right. Welcome to our backyard, everybody. We're glad you're here. Uh, hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to Stew Man Continued. Uh, we. It is 7.29, okay, I'll do it one more minute. <laughs> These minutes go slow. I know. <laughs> when you're waiting to start. I know, <laughs> we're so excited. We could have started hours ago, but we didn't. We, we didn't. We didn't. Hey, tell your friends we're live. Uh, have them join us, bring them all over to your house, you're outside and stay six feet away. Yep. We're good. Tell us hello. We're kind of far to read it, but Topher will tell us who says hello. Huh? You're going to tell us about the comments. Yeah. It's 7.30, guys. Time to go. Here we go. I'm also okay. listening for your mic quality. <laughs> oh, is it good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> good. Okay, hey. Checking, checking. <laughs> we didn't really check it. Welcome to Stew Man, guys. Uh, we are um, continuing Stew Man because we had that wrap-up banquet last week, and then... Um, we're going to transition into summer, but uh, we wanted to continue our conversation about transitions um, as a transition conversation That's from good. one thing to the next. From one thing to the next. That's, yeah. Life is full of those. <laughs> life is full of that. Yep. So uh, we're going live because we want you to participate. Um, if you want to ask us questions or say anything, uh, we brought Topher along. Hi, guys. He's, he said hi. He's over there, but um, he's gonna he's gonna shout at us if you guys have questions or want to say something. Um, so you won't go ignored, unless you're ignored by Topher. <laughs> right? I wouldn't want to be ignored by Topher. That would be a that'd be a bad bad thing. A lot of pressure yeah, <laughs> right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're talking um, episode two of transitions. Yeah. Uh, one thing that kind of struck me, so you guys also talked transitions um, a couple weekends ago in the weekend service. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and one of the like kind of bold statements I thought you made was, uh, "There's always fear in transition." I think that um, you know people who uh, people who experience change and transition in their life. I mean, if you think about the, the changes and transitions in your life and and really, I think we should say at the outset that you know those those two words, change and transition, are two different things. Yeah. Um, but when we when we hit uh, moments in our life that are different than the previous moment, and everything shifts, there's this moment of uh, of asking, you know, who am I? What am I doing here? What what does this mean? And I think that I think it can be. I think it yes, it can be a, a fearful moment for everyone. Uh, but fear is a relative uh, term. Yeah. yeah. Some people are, uh, when they experience fear, um, the, you know, their their throat will close up. They want to they want to get away, do something different. Um, there's lots of physiological uh, uh, examples of of how fear impacts us. But I think fear is just an overarching word that uh, that helps us understand. This is a tough moment, and I'm not sure what to do with it, and that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the example that I was thinking was, 
like going to college was a big point of transition um, and is for everyone but uh, there was like a lot of excitement in that too yeah. so so I felt like there was there was some fear of the unknown maybe but also that there was this exciting new time coming up yeah. um, to have a fresh start yeah well even that in that it's it's really interesting because if you if you experienced that um, when you went to college mm -hmm. uh, you, Kansas. Kansas. Say University that again. of Kansas. Kansas? Kansas. Kansas. That was so good. I mean, if you just think about the first first moments, you know, after your entourage left, whoever yeah. it was that took you there yeah. or whatever. Mom left crying. Yep. Well, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. um, she'll, she'll be watching that. Right. Well, that, that's appropriate. <laughs> Tears are appropriate. You know, there's this moment where you just, you're just uh, not sure what's next. But the yeah. way you just described it, you know, before you get to that point, you just sort of turn a corner and go, yeah, I can do this. For some people, it takes, it takes quite some time to yeah. get to that moment from I'm scared out of my mind to, okay, I've got this okay. can be, can be minutes, hours, days, or, or years for some people. Yeah. Yeah. But I love the idea, if you can imagine, um, in just, uh, just a few short weeks, there's a you know everyone right now is transitioning from the uh, from school as it was to um, mm -hmm. s school as it is and uh, no school through the summer yeah. uh, and then in the fall our seniors will be yeah. freshmen again and yeah. that'll be a moment of uh, transition probably some fear but, yeah. uh, did you feel fear when you when your family left you what what was yeah. that like for you um Okay, let's talk about this. Maybe the fear came a little bit later, like, like, um, which is <laughs> here we're outside. There's Cotton everything. Woods. It's starting. Um, um, like the excitement was the really fun part um, to be like, yes, let's do this. And then there was maybe moments or days or weeks that it set in of like, oh, this this is new and this isn't my old life anymore and like. There was some fear in that to be worked through, um, and, and maybe that's my—that was my question about like there's always fear in transition. Uh, that maybe it doesn't come as the first reaction to it, uh, but it comes a little yeah. bit later. Yeah, I, I I hope we don't get uh, too stuck on fear. I think fear is is a word that we use. Um, the people who study this and we've. We've made a point to study this at Prince of Peace uh, from a church perspective, uh, what, in the life of a congregation, in the life of student ministry, in the life of uh, family ministry. Whenever we're we're going through a time together, we, um, we have to sort of understand what the words mean. So, yeah. fear yes. is just a, another yeah. word for apprehension. It's that it it's that moment when um, uh, like we're we're. Life is a highway. We're on the highway, and all of a sudden, something happens where we where we have to stop, and, and maybe there's a flat tire. We yeah. run out of gas, or we're hungry. We stop and get a burger or something. There's, it's it's different, and we we begin to ask, uh, what does what does that yeah. uh, moment mean? You know, it's 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 going from um, it's going from middle school to high school. Mm -hmm. It's high school to college. Um, we go through these changes and transitions with our parents. Sometimes relationships are smooth yeah. as silk, yeah. and other times uh, it, you just wish you were on a different planet, yeah. uh, or you know uh, those kinds of things. So, um, well, I think those are great examples. Even right now, when everyone's at home in your household, like your relationships with your parents and your siblings changing in that yeah. too and there's transition and yeah. like oh now we're together all the time yeah yeah um, let me just remind us i mean we had a, we talked about this last time i think this is important there's a difference between change and yep. transition yep the change that we went through as a culture uh, was the change from being able to get up in the morning uh, get dressed get on a bus get in a car ride a bike whatever and move from your house to school and then within a matter of days after things really got rolling, uh, all of that changed. So we went yep. from yep. being able to get on the bus, car, whatever, to go to school, mm -hmm. to having to stay at home. Yeah. 
and then having to learn uh, how, then how do we how do we do what we did so those are all physical changes uh, the transition and for for some of us this was pretty scary it's like what is, what does this mean how, how do I how do I see myself uh, how are my friends doing I'm I'm doing way better than those friends, but I'm doing, there's other friends who are doing way better than me. What's that mean? Is there something, what does that mean? Is there something wrong with me? So uh, the change is physical. The transition is sort of the emotional, what do I, yep. what do, I do with this? Yep. So. Yeah. Okay, I think about, I think about, um, I think about the, the fear um, in change, mm -hmm. one of the one of the things that I think we talked about this the other day. Uh, I went to college, mm -hmm. and um, I had never, I had never spoken in front of a large group of people ever. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I was involved with student ministry. A good friend of mine said, "Hey, you should join this group." And it was it was sort of a, the campus church, and and so uh, we decided that we we're gonna we we're gonna host. A, uh, a, a service, and they wanted me to read a psalm. I mean, all I had to do was open the Bible yeah. and read the psalm. But I can remember, I got there and I opened, I opened the book, the Bible, the Psalms, and I was going to read it. And there was like three or four hundred people. I looked out at that group of people, and I was instantly terrified uh, of standing in front of this group of people. So much so that I can remember I had a, a physical response to that that yeah. my throat closed up and I couldn't read and, it, and when I tried to read mm -hmm. it sounded like um, you know, maybe we played the game probably don't do it much anymore Pudgy Bunny you know st stick about nine yeah, marshmallows mm -hmm. in your mouth to try to read <laughs> Psalm 32 and see how well that goes well, we should try that sometime on the live. Maybe we, yeah, okay. that would be interesting. Before we I start. can redeem the moment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I went from, <clears throat> I went from uh, never having been in front of a group of people mm -hmm. to being in front of a group of people and then having to open my mouth and speak. Yeah. And, yeah. and that was, that was fearful. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and to this day, if I hadn't gotten, if I hadn't gotten some help with that, mm -hmm. Uh, I wouldn't be sitting here now. Yeah. Wouldn't be able to stand up in front of a group of people at church. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we we all go through that learning yeah. process. Well, don't they say too that public speaking is like the number one fear in America? Like over spider Tober's <laughs> Tober's nodding his head over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. There's kind of a joke that the number one fear is, is uh, public speaking. Yeah. And the number two fear is death, which oh, tells yeah. you that more people would rather die than speak in front of a group of yeah. people, which is <laughs> such a dad joke. I'm, phew, man, anyway, yeah. But public speaking is scary. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But fear, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want us to, to go away thinking that fear is a weakness. Um, so Dana, in your life, when you uh, think about the, the, the moments that have presented fear to you, um, how have, can you think of uh, how you've turned it around into a into a strength or kind of capitalized on a learning moment? I didn't have time to prepare for this one. I know, I just lobbed <laughs> that out there for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this moment, if you're fearful, I'm thinking, right? Like, I, I mean, honestly, when like thinking about fear, um, maybe some of the bigger ones were like fear of fear of the unknown, fear of, like, rejection in um, job searches, fear of failure in classes, you know, you always have, um, like, I think we've all gone through a test where you're like, I have no idea how this is going to go, um, and the question was to turn it back into a strength, I don't, I'm trying to think of just times I've been fearful, maybe, um, Public speaking. Yeah. We talked about that. Yeah. Well, all of those things that maybe you and I would identify as fears, uh, you know, yeah. public speaking or or someone asking us to do um, a task that we don't feel equipped to do. Um, I, what I love the idea that we have a choice uh, in in those moments, and uh, the the choice is 
to either be overwhelmed by the fear or apprehension or the yeah. I don't think I can do this or the whatever that that holds yeah. us back to get through that and actually believe in ourselves um, uh, enough and know that that God's with us to strengthen us mm-hmm. to, to move from where we are to where we're going mm-hmm. so I um, the story that I think is just so great is the story of uh, the lion the witch in the wardrobe yeah where uh, Lucy yes. uh, Lucy uh, finds this wardrobe in in, mm-hmm. in, in this room and she, she knows that there's something to it she's compelled by it she wants to open it well she's got a she's got a choice she can either look at the wardrobe or she can open it up yeah. and if you know the story of course she decided to open it up the we, siren going away. <laughs> <laughs> last week it was garbage trucks today it's tonight it's lawnmowers. Sirens. yeah lawnmowers so she it, she, yes, she opened the doors and mm-hmm. then suddenly there's there's another choice am i going to just stay here or am i going to keep going well she decided to, to, to push through whatever was hanging in that in that wardrobe, uh, move the clothes mm-hmm. aside, and then there's a back door. And and as she touches the back door, she notices that it is a door, and she can either just just be overwhelmed by that, or she can open yeah. that. And finally, she just steps into the wardrobe. She yeah. she deals with her fear of the unknown. She deals with her apprehension of I don't know what's coming next. She deals with her her fear of will I survive in that new reality and I've always thought it's just so great when we when we just take a risk Mm -hmm. when we take the risk and we step into that new reality it's like stepping through the through the doors of that of that wardrobe into this whole other world where she's like looking around and and noticing what so I think that um, yeah I think that Where it's easy, maybe in fear, to put up walls yeah. and to kind of shut down, take that overwhelming sense and be like, done, yeah. I'm not doing anything, yeah. I can't take a step forward. Yeah, yeah. Which is normal. Yeah. We all, and um, it... And the first step is the hardest. Right. Maybe that's a cliche phrase to use, but... That's good. That's good. And I think that this process from, you know, getting to wherever we are dealing with fear and apprehension to wherever we're going to go isn't uh, like a linear thing. It's not just yeah. step, yeah. here's nine steps to being a better you. I th- it's mm-hmm. it's really a cycle that, that we can, yeah. um, you know, we can go from middle school into high school. and uh, So maybe the change is linear. The, the change right. will what be linear. Say? Like even getting older. Getting right. Older or whatever. Right. We don't get we don't get younger. Some people yes. have been searching for that, but uh, we don't get so that is right, right. So we don't we don't get younger, right. but we get we get better at adapting mm-hmm. to aging or you know yeah. just going into new into new things. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just want to take a breath. Because, okay. Uh, do like do we want to acknowledge things going on in the chat? <laughs> Have, you, have we started yet? I thought this was all the room. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, if you guys want to ask us anything or say anything, the chat is open. So lob a, f- a couple questions, perhaps? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the risk of conquering fear. Uh, where's the adventure in that? Yeah. Well, uh, the risk in conquering fear. Well, I suppose um, if fear is apprehension, and if we fear we don't what we don't know, every morning when we wake up, we um, are taking a risk. Mm-hmm. Like, what's this day going to yeah. hold? Um, a lot of our students are, are coming to the last part of... Uh, the school year there's lots of studying lots of tests being taken and you know every day um, is is a risk how, how will I do and I think that um, I think for me and I think a lot of this has to do with uh, how we're wired mm-hmm. our personalities yeah uh, but if, if we're willing to sort of uh, embrace the adventure of it yeah. if we're willing to uh, sort of uh, embrace the 
I don't know how this is going to turn out, but there's probably there's probably a really good life lesson in here to learn. Mm -hmm. But it, not everybody's wired that way. Yeah, I mean, I think you're very wired that way. That there's always an adventure in the next thing. But I, maybe to say that the risk is in every day waking up to a new thing. Um, maybe that's empowering to some. Mm -hmm. To yeah, to kind of have that, to be like, oh, I am doing something. Right. I am stepping out of my comfort zone. I am adapting. Yeah. I am, you know, yeah. conquering my fears. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I just have this image of, um, as if we're all sort of gathered around uh, tonight, I just think of uh, all of you students. If, if you can remember, if you can, if you can transport yourself back a year, just a year, or maybe even six months, and think about where you are today and where you where you were six months ago and and even in our lives six months ago we had we had no idea we would be doing any we would right. be doing life like this right. and I think if somebody told us six months ago oh by the way uh, it'll yeah. be a global pandemic everybody be yeah. uh, you know stuck at home for weeks and weeks and weeks on mm -hmm. end and, and when you go out everybody will be wearing a mask and it'll mm -hmm. get crazy I, I think that there would have been lots of people who said, not for me. Right. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bake bread and just let that be my happy you know, <laughs> do something that I can do, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but now we're doing this. Right. So in the same yeah. way, we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Yeah. But we know that we didn't know what was gonna happen today and here we are. So I think that there's this we've done it before. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know what was going to happen yeah. today, and now we're doing it. Yeah, I practiced the lines. So I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that there's this there's this good news that since we did this yesterday, huh? we can do this tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have to go biblical on you for just a, a moment. Great, that, you know, the, the, our, our Hebrew ancestors had this concept of... Um, uh, backing into the future. That is to say, and I've talked about this at Prince of Peace a number of times, that that there was nothing that they ever experienced in life from day to day that was so new that it had never been done before. So, so moving through uh, oppression, slavery in Egypt, baking bricks, you know, try, living from day to day, they knew that God was faithful to, to bring them from where they were to where they're going. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of all their fear, fear is okay. Fear fear has, it is a good thing. It's gotten us to the 21st century. Yeah. But they would back, they would go through the day knowing that there was nothing that they would experience that they hadn't experienced before. And okay. if God mm -hmm. had brought them through that before, God would bring them through that again. Yeah. So really, yeah. in a sense, the fear that we have is the fear of things that we don't know, yeah. but that, but to also, but then to know in the midst of that, that that we're not alone, that, that God, yeah. that God travels with us, yeah. Spirit travels with us. So, mm -hmm. uh, that's a that that's a that's a good word for me. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's like 7:52. All right. What else we got? Well, I, I love one this. One more thing. Yeah, one more thing. Um, when you and I were talking about this, just mm -hmm. sort of getting it ready, yeah. uh, you said something that made a lot of sense to me, and I, I want to, I, I think I want to put it on a t-shirt. Not a bumper sticker, but a t-shirt. And you, you said that the adventure is in the risk. Yeah. And I think that's right. I think that's a healthy way to look at it, that mm -hmm. the adventure into the unknown is in the risk. Yeah. Um, and that the, the risk is in the doing yeah and uh and the doing of whatever it is that we're doing is. getting up tomorrow yep. is what the adventure it's the adventure it's the adventure so There's the, the yep right the adventure is in the risk the risk is in the doing mm -hmm. and the doing is yeah. the adventure yeah so i don't know it's good that's good it is good so what's the what's Got any adventure coming up for you? Oh gosh, 
I know, keep, you know, keep putting you on the spot. I know. I keep I and I, I keep bringing up my puppy, but I feel like every day is a new adventure with her. It is. As a, as a four month old puppy, yeah. every day you got to look at it through her eyes. Like yeah. every day there's something new. That's we right. went on a new walk today. Yeah. So there were lots of new smells, new squirrels to chase. Yeah. Well, just think of life from Darla's perspective. Yeah. About what? A Dar- foot off the ground. Darla, real small. Real yeah. small. Yeah. Yeah. Life's certainly a risky adventure. Life is a big place for her. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, it's a fun picture to see of like something that gets to have bright eyes towards something. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I, I think, um, of course we can't get into a dog's head, but I think, I think that the adventure, the life lesson, I'm always looking for life lessons is that, um, like what you just said, to sort of look at it through her through Darla's eyes. Yeah. There's another teacher. Um, yeah, that there might be something in there for she us. She says, what can I bite next? <laughs> what right. can I eat next? Right, right. <laughs> Darla, sweet little pup, lunch on a leash. Yeah, that's it's good. <laughs> hey, just to wrap up, will you just pray for us? I will, I will. That would be great. Yeah. The Lord be with you. Yeah, let's pray. Gracious God, thanks for uh, gathering us uh, together in, in this place near and far tonight. Thank you for all the students that are watching, and uh, especially for all of the, the changes that are, that are going on, all of the changes that our, our students are experiencing. Uh, we pray that you, would, that you would reveal yourself to each one of us in ways uh, that we can understand, ways that, that inspire us to tell stories of how you're, uh, how you're helping us out, walking with us. So we just pray that uh, that you would calm our fears when we experience change and transition. That you would uh, that you would help us to remember that you are a faithful God. That where we're going, you have been. And so we know that you are with us in this present moment. So uh, be with us the rest of the evening. Surround us with your love, your grace, and uh, we pray that you bless us to be a blessing to others as we go. It's in the strong name of Christ that we pray. And everybody shouted, Amen. Amen. Wait, Amen. I think I heard it. Nice job, you guys. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Oh, okay. A little leg on that. Uh, okay, Paul, thank you so much for this again. You're inviting me back over to your home. That's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Good to uh, have you guys here. Yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Have a great night. See ya. <laughs> Guess I gotta go. <laughs>